The Boone and Crockett Club wants you to know it's not just about the tape measures and record books. They're doing a lot more to help the conservation of American game animals than most people think. Back in the early 1900s, Boone and Crockett Club members wanted to raise public awareness on unregulated overhunting, and did so with the opening of the National Collection of Heads and Horns in 1922. Now, a hundred years later, the collection is part of the Wonders of Wildlife National Museum and Aquarium in Springfield, Missouri. Public displays like this one are a constant reminder that conservation matters to everyone. For more proof that the Boone and Crockett Club is still leading the way in wildlife conservation, look no further than the 31st Big Game Awards. Happening July 21st through the 23rd, the awards recognize the record book-worthy game animals harvested in the last three years. All those trophies, over 100 in total, will be on public displays starting in early May as a visual reminder of how far we've come. <laughs>